Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to cover model visibility inside of UC Wind Road. And to start with, I want to go over the visibility of the terrain, which is under visual options and then the terrain tab. You can see in this top left here that the terrain view distance is set to 2500 meters. So as I move back, you can see that the terrain is moving back with me from 2500 meters from the camera. And this will change in real time. If I kick this up to say 5,000, we'll see it gets farther back. Um, generally, we like to keep it somewhere between 5 and 10,000, depending on how many models you have in the scene. Because the farther the view distance is, the more models will be loaded. So 10,000 is generally a good number to, to have if you, for an instance like this, where we have a longer road, where we want to be able to see the end of the road and see the mountains that make up our scene and be able to fly back and forth with, with the mountains not moving. So we'll leave it at 10,000 for this. So as far as model visibility is concerned, see this tab right next to the visual options? This is the model, current model visibility and there's now, before, and after. And I'm just going to place some default models around the scene that already come with this. So we'll put some apartments over here. Actually, I'm going to put the apartments in the now layer, and then I'm going to go to after. And once I switch to after, that means I'm activating the active layer. So now if I go back to my model placement tool, let's do something else. Let's put a houses on this side. and then see if I switch to before or now, the models that were in the after are not there. However, it defaults to if you place models in the now layer, they will be in all three layers. But you can go and change that afterwards. That's not a big deal. So you can see that the, the houses that I placed in after, I'm actually going to place some in before as well so we can have all three layers. So we'll put a different model in the before layer. put some trees in there so these models are now in the before layer I'm just populating my scene with some things so now if I close this and if I go to now now the ones that I placed in before are not there after, but these buildings are are always going to be there because I placed them in the now. However, you can change that. So say I want the buildings to only be in the now and not be in the before and after. So in that instance, I will go to Options, Model Visibility. And inside this Model Visibility tab, you can see as of right now, we have a now, before, and after. And each model itself has a, tr a, a collapsible tree. And this this is just for for the for every model in that in said tree. So right now these apartment buildings are this thing. If I click, I should see three of them. So yes, one, two, three. And each apartment building has the exact coordinates inside of UC Wind Road where that model is. And so just to see that, we can I'll select one of these buildings. And if I go to position, you can see that this one's four eight eight seven three seven two six. So now if I go back to the to the model visibility, highlight this, 4887-3726. So that is this this model right here. So now if I click that one off in the now, actually I want to click that one off in, in a different one than, than now. So we'll take all the models off and before we only start with, we'll make it only visible, all the models only visible in, in the now layer. So to do that, I'm just going to, to before and turning that those models off, and I'm going to after and turning all of those models off. And that, see, because I'm in the after layer, this will happen in real time. This is actually a better example of what to show you how this is. So now if I click this one, then that one will disappear, this one, and that one. So you have full control over every single model that's placed in your scene as to what layer. And you also can make new layers inside of this visibility option. So if I select, made a new selection, 
rename the selection and say I renamed this selection, it doesn't matter what it is, but trees. So now instead of having my trees be in any of the other layers, so I'll go back through, they're not on in the in the before, they're not on, and now they're, they're not on in the before, they're not on there. So if I, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm in the after viewing layer right now. So in this, in the after layer, the models and the, and the apartments will be visible. And then when I go to the trees layer, everything will be visible. So now if I close this, spacebar to deselect that, how, that apartment building. And now if I go to trees, now I have another drop down in here, which is called trees. And you can add new layers, as many layers as you want. Now before and after always will be there. But you can add as many other ones as you would like. So now I have that set as trees. So now if I go there, I can make my trees disappear. And this is really handy in any sort of situation, either either scripts or scenarios, you can call out visibility layers to turn on and off. So if you were making a flyby animation and you wanted certain things to turn on and off as you were flying down a flight path, you can easily make visibility layers accessible through waypoints or through the script editor. So that's the basics of model visibility. Another thing that I just want to quickly show is if I select a piece of terrain there, I shift select, and this will create a large section of terrain wherever I shift selected. I just want to quickly show you if I, this is actually how you create a forest. So if I create a forest here, it gives me the option of several different varieties of trees. So I'm going to make this say a thousand, actually let's make it two thousand. And you can control the ma the min max height of each of these. Seven meters. We'll pick three three different very different kinds of trees. We'll make this one eight ten, and then for the last one we'll go with this style tree. We'll make it eight. Okay. Now it's going to create two thousand trees. Some a rough. Roughly a third of, of it each will be in there at these varying heights. Okay, so I just made this really dense forest that actually goes across my road. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll forget about that for right now. But that's a very easy way to create trees. But now, say I wanted to add those, all, all of those trees or only some of those trees to my visibility layer of trees. So now... I'm going to go to the now layer, or say I wanted to add some of them to my now layer. So I'm going to go back to my model options, model visibility, and now I can see that the, the, th the three bottom ones are the three that I just created the forest. So these, these are going to be very long lists of trees because there's probably, there's hundreds of each tree in that forest. So now, now I'm on the now layer, now I can click and see Okay, so now that's that's all of that variety of tree. That's all of my yellow variety of tree. And that's all of the other one. So you can easily control the visibility of multiple objects in a scene with this visible visible models tool. So that will do it for this tutorial. Thank you.